an hour. Alright, I'm well, back at John Deere. I'm on a new camera, so I have to do some studying adjustments to get the date and time off. It's not correct. Well, everything else is the time is incorrect, but the year is incorrect. The rest of the date is correct. But there's something I want to catch on film here, and it is that 7720 Turbo. It's not a Titan, it's a Turbo. Well, I figured because it was up here a couple days ago, and I see this sitting here. It's a customer's butt. There it goes. Bit of a stiff opening on it. I hope that guy in a bot pad there. Oh, skidsters want to look and bother me. I hope he didn't. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, that's quite familiar. Of course, that column broke out of it. It's got your typical transmission in it. Oh no, this is a right here. It's got your high low, so you could go into yeah your first. Was it first gear, then bump it into high, then. Yeah, it's basically your typical H pattern. That's one, two, three, four, yes. I mean, that's five, bolt back six, seven, eight. Then you got your uh, high, your range one, two, and reverse. This is broken. Oh, convenient. Get that gear. Yeah, here you got your foot throw. These European tracks are quite interesting. I like them. I mean, I've got a good headline with that. Everything's falling out of the sides of it. Yeah, I like these 55 series tractors and the 50s. I really like to catch a 3650 on camera one of these days. I mean, one of my favorite combines is sitting there, but he's out moving snow, so I can't get up next to it. So, not a bad tractor. I mean, doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape. Tires are decent. Firestones. There's your, uh, what did you got? Your 540, there's your 1000. It's not a bad track. I mean, I could spend a day and I'd have to redo some parts in here because it'd be a little noisy. But here's something I was looking for. I have to run back around my phone. Is it unlocked? Yes, it is. Now this is a 5320. This is actually a fairly clean machine, knock my boots up, but I just had to get in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Yeah, it pulls out extra. Yeah. I locked it. No. What the heck? Pull out. Ooh, that's stiff. The cables might be frozen on it. I'm not trying to break it either, but this is very similar to. That's neutral. Then you got your. You got your. You got your A. That's A, neutral, B, and C. Very, be great for snow plowing on the sidewalks. Hmm. Let's see if this thing would work. Hmm. Yeah, three spools right here. I mean, crap. I could spend all day on this. Oh, there's your uh, border reverse. Right there. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Come on now. There it goes. Not too bad of a tractor. I mean, it's got your radio, and I think it does work, and I know all this stuff works. Tractor on a work doesn't, but what do you do? This would be a nice machine to run for a while. 
That's a ooh, turf special. So this came it's actually off a golf course. Unless I saw that here, I wanted to take a peek at it. I did see something of interest. Where where did you go? I think there's one of these two. I could have swore I saw a 10 series back here, but I guess I'm just getting tricks played on me. And we just got a snowstorm the other day, so everything's covered in snow. What is this, 6130? Oh, it is unlocked. This has got the side mount mower on it. The side mount mower on it. This seems to be new. Yes, there's a. That's not too bad a placement. Oh, shit, there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Well, parking lots of this thing. Fairly easy. I mean, I'm trying to keep this quick and brief so some of them get catch me. I think they caught me. I don't think he gives a crap, which is nice. Well, this is a fairly new machine. I really don't want to spend too much time in there because they don't like people and new machines that don't belong to them. I think that's another, that is another one. That is a good old 3800. Yeah, 3800, alright. Yep. This has been here for a while. I don't know if that's for sale. It might be. It's been here for like a year or two. Yeah, that's 1145. Not too bad. I mean, it's a little noisy in there. The only thing you can never get me to run here is that grader. Probably run everything else in here. Might not can. This thing is a no-go. I mean, look at this. Just filth. Not something that I'd spend any time in, to be honest with you. Noka County's got a better one, it's way bigger, it's a road grader. Eh, well, I don't even know what type of engine's in this thing. It's a cute engine, well, it's a cute little engine. And there's a 250 skid steer. Open, front end, and... Now here's something I... Oh, 2810. Five furrow plow, I think's what it is. This would be nice to move. Get it going. It's got a custom front three, three point for the plow. I think that's another one. That's 6105E. Okay, we have to look at that. That side's locked. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what they hit with this. There's a customer tractor as well. You can see the huge holes in the blade. Maybe you guys can see that in there. Good lord. I wonder what they hit. I don't know why that guy's making it 7600 to be honest with you. At least they snagged locked it. Which we've been in a couple of these. I think there's, there's a bigger one around here. I don't know that much. It's up there with the plow on it. The bigger plow on it. Next to that. POS, well, 6410, that city's not a POS, it's the cab that's a POS. I mean, so whoever had it left did not take care of it. It's 6105E. It's a really new machine. Oh, come on. Work with me, guys. Come on here. Come on now. I don't know if I can get into this side. Now yeah, she's locked. Darn. Mm. A lot of tires have, a lot of tracks have these uh, turf tires on them. Not the new tires that's coming out. Um, which is interesting if you ask me. I just squire the tires on 5320. That is just some tiny little tire. Jesus, I'd put some. That's a little more skinny, but taller. I know it's for turf work, but Jesus Christ, that wouldn't. I got a 
Looks like it's broken loose. That's just normal. This one for something. And there's a new Moco. It was bent down to them. Too bad shape. I really don't want to track snow all over the interior. I'm gonna write the combine. This guy's done plowing, at least I think he is. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's those straw walkers. Yeah, and they got the pan on, over the back axle. Right over the back axle, which is quite handy. Careful climbing this. They might have locked it. Yeah, I think they did. They had keys not in it. Kind of cool looking inside though. I mean, there's your grain tank. I would want to get up close to one of these comments. Probably one of my favorite comments of all time. This is a 7720 turbo. Not a care for these are ice e stairs. It's got Goodyear tires on it. They're in some work. Yeah, she's locked up though. I mean, can't do nothing about it. I was doing a rescue. I'd climb that tire up to the top. But considering the conditions right now, it's been icy and slick. That's not going to happen. Is this open up too? Oh, that's just not on a hinge. I'm not going to open that up. That bad. machine's fairly clean. Anyway, I want to get more footage, but alrighty guys, well, we're back at Deer, John Deere, Minnesota Equipment. I was going to show you, but something, like, except on a gold mine, but they're gone. Oh no, there's a combine. Take a look at that. Yeah, there's a 6130R sitting right where the camera's looking at, with a loader on, unlocked, and you're on. Freaking Saturday? It's here? Next Sunday? Gone. What do you do though? It's part of dealing with these things. This has got an interesting apparatus on it. Get this little thing unlocked? No. They both have uh, 50, 70 E's are the same thing. Any of these unlocked? Oh. Gold mine, as I tell ya. That's an E series. What do we got? Yeah, you got your A, B, C, and D, then you got your. I don't know the ship. Yeah, ship fairy not really. Hmm, can't get to go in the park. Hmm, interesting. It's not a bad display on here. I mean, it's got the very familiar shuttle to me. Turn signals. This is a good joystick. I like these joysticks. Now your throttles over here and you got your... This is more... The easy the economy series, that's where the levers are here. That's your three point and... Then that's your draft. Yeah, that's your draft and it's got one SCV on it. Not bad. It's got Bluetooth stereo. Inside man, is look at man face for a minute. It's not a bad trip. I mean, someone's been in here doing something. Yeah, careful. This is ice and it's cold outside and ice and cold. And that shut a little hard. <laughs> Wait, a 6420? See, I like the. Okay, there's a 4430 sitting here. I have to look at that. And 2955 is gone. It's a good thing I got. This is a multi part series. Customer and shares a Pope's cap that gets unlocked. Sounds like I ripped your bottle in here. This is one machine. Hey, oh, short guy, like I don't know. Mm, not too uncovered, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He's more of a classic European tractor. Seat swivels in, it's not bad either. Jesus, it's kind of disgusting in here. That's what most 
these tractors are nowadays. Move that shut all the way. So many excavated around here. I don't want to look at this 44-30. This has got some bigger tires on it I've seen before. Compared to the other 44-30 I caught on camera over the summer. Now it's of course winter, it's January. I look at the combine again because last time I didn't get a very good job. I don't know what I no, but not. see one of my soft spots is these sound guard series, the sound guard series. Oh yeah, there's the turbo sitting right up in there. It's got the old style original steps on it. Of course they're bent. Oh, the interior's actually not too bad for a 30. It's got a good seat in it. Oh, someone's got the right idea. How many my hours? I think I might have rolled over once. I mean, the steering column is still in here, too. Ooh, this has got the HP power shift in it. Hmm. I'm not going to force it. It's not my machine. Wish it was. I mean, I'd clean it up a little bit. I she won't go in a freaking park. I'll leave it in gear then. Got a little bit of mud on it, but hey, not bad machine either. So glad I came up here. This thing's been used a fair bit. Looks like it's been used as like a tillage machine or something. There's a sled bed here. I don't know why that's here. What the tires this thing got on it? Uh, I don't know, but she's been running duels on it. She's had duels on her. So I think it's a thousand shaft in it. it. Might be. Nice hitch pin. It's actually bent. I like these old 30 series and the 40s, and 50s, 55s, and 60s. It's actually I'm not too ungodly cold. I don't know, this thing been here for a good couple of years now. Probably two years. That loader's been here. Is that POS of a grader. I can see why no one wants that. Combine unlock. Last time I looked at it, which I'm going to put all these into one video. It's going to be a longer video, but hey. This is two weeks worth in the making, so... Yeah, what a nice machine. This is not a Titan. I, I just been talking to one lonely farmer about these machines. And it is still, it is a turbo. It's got a green roof on. It's one of the later, last of the turbos. Oh yeah, they still got some stuff up in there. Can't really get these things too ungodly clean. Let's look up the ass end of a chopper, shall we? That stay clear, no shit. Oh, hammers are in here. This thing would be like a pretty good thing. Someone's after me. Who's that? Oh, uh, boss man's texting me. Alright, there's supposed to snow today. Yeah, there's a... What was the last thing this thing showed? Farm? Weird. Hey, all the beans. I mean, uh, two bucks. Oh, spare parts. Not bad. I think they have to be older with the gossip calves on them. Is it? I'm trying to understand why they lock this thing, but honestly, it's a shame. I'd really like to get in this machine. I don't know it's unlocked from the inside, but there's no way you can get on the inside. Eh? Do some finesse and I can get in from another door. Let's see if I can stop the machine. Ooh, we got some stuff in there. I just want to get a good view from this. I just want to get a good view of this grain tank. 
course she's full of snow. Oh, they locked this too. Oh shit. Breaking my freaking neck. Again. Huh. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Nothing else I've done right now. Now, what the hell is this thing? I have no clue what that is. Yeah, the, the turbo show. You see, it's got the green roof on it. Look before I pulled in because it was uh, usually up over there, but no. Not a bad day though, looking up here. I mean, by myself. Throw my carcass up here. I think it's about 8 degrees, 8, 10, 15 degrees out. I think I'm making this in a separate part. I have two different clips. I had sit, the camera sitting in the truck all, all week waiting to get back up and do some filming. And this guy's been used. I can tell. The rest of them are loader mounds. Icy. A little icy. Just a little bit. Sometimes you guys, if you're doing this like what I'm doing for these younger guys out here, like they're younger than me, check both doors. Cause the odd time they don't lock the right hand door. And that's how I get the majority of these and in, get inside of them. All right. There's both 60 and 30 ohms. Getting one that'd be good enough for me, but eh. I don't know. See, it's been here for a while. That was just the ice. I know if someone's watching me. Yeah, they're in the shop. I can see the steam pouring out. Excuse me. Exhaust coming out of there. That's got a front blade on it. These are both 6115 M's. You can see the numbers on them. Yeah, they're getting smart. I think they're watching my videos. Which is a shame. I know before this was Minnesota equipment, it was. I can't remember what the other name was. My grandfather would. Everything used to be unlocked. Everything. You don't get in anything you wanted to here. Since the Minnesota equipment's moved in, they've done a really good job of keeping things secure, which is good but bad for someone like me I mean not a thief I just like looking around there's a 5075 D without the cab on it what I tell you you always gotta check both doors you always gotta check both doors oh yeah actually since the paint has to get outside do that Yeah, I mean, these M, yeah, 61, yeah, 61, 15M. I mean, the one thing, I think, uh, How Farms Workers looking into one of these before. And honestly, it's not a bad setup with loader is. I mean, it's right on your armrest. If you're not like right here, it'd be even better. But still not a bad reach. I think it's always right here in your gear. You got your power shift. It's got a third function on it. She's so far from I think this yeah, it's got F in it too. So you got E. I think this thing would do probably maybe 30. Then you got your power shift here. Fun here. And right here too. And uh, three SCVs are then swivel and seat.
<laughs> Sweet swerves both ways actually. Not a bad clip. No, they still carry these from the 6400 and the 7010 series. That's a place to keep your drinks cold. And the headlines are pretty darn good shape. No Bluetooth stereo. There's a guy coming through here. You got your four wheel drive. Not a bad clip. Uh, what, 15 horsepower tractor? Of course, uh, other 6115M is here. Another 6115M, good lord, you get it. very much like their M series. I really don't know. This would be nice to cross snow with. Expensive though. I just finally sold that little 6410. Or did they? No, it's gone. It's sitting right here. You can see the fresh part. It doesn't sunk in the ground too good. Like, maybe I like, tear tires on it. That's interesting. Darn it, they locked it. What model is it? 6105R. Yeah, that's a 6105 r Is that boy now? No. See, if someone wants to email me now, send me a key for these machines, I would more than be, I would more than be willing. Oh dang, they do it. They are lying or something. <laughs> wow. I mean, the tire setup on this thing is kind of interesting. The diamond tread, ter the diamond tread, terra tires, what you call these? I don't freaking know. They're Goodyear tires. This has only got the left hand door on it. No, it's got the right hand door. Darn. Of course, I thought they'd unlock the 125. But no. Of course, no, they sold the big guy. The 62 to 7210. Man, what? a blast. This looks interesting. What is this? Um, 6155R with the 640R loader on it. It's locked, but. Yeah, no right hand door. I, it's not bad. It's got the dash of the 7530, the 30 premium series. I really gotta get in one of these so I can have a good gander around instead of looking out through the window. Well, no, this guy's unlocked. 67000 dollars and that still is unlocked. Oh, so this is a bigger tractor. This is 6155, this is 6150. Darn. I'm just kind of shit out of luck today. Oh, Minnesota and Oliver and Deer's coming. We better lock all the equipment you want to get into. I'm just joking at that, but I feel like sometimes. Is that a. Looks like one from I have a Terry Boy side. Oh, something lost, someone lost something. Frozen on the ground. I'm not getting that thing out. That T6050 Bobcat. Oh, this is a newer case. It's got the older style on it, though. An open station. And here's something interesting. 77, 75. Interesting if you ask me. That's gotta be an aftermarket door. Oh she got foot controls in there. Ooh, uh. Uh, how many hours you got on here? Eight eh? 836.2 hours on it. Sure I'll cover up this but yeah, this got parking brake on What the fuck? Yeah, that's an aftermarket door. See the cylinder right here. I got heat, fan speed. Oh, it's not that. Bloody cold. Oh, there's your lock. <laughs> See, it's not a factory door. 
Still interesting. I mean, kind of cool. Spend a day on one of those things. And on to the line of skid steers. This, uh, this is a 33, 333 cheating. This is a 317 G. Look at the size difference. And that's got the big side lights on it. I oh, know, they're about the same on the interior. There's a smaller cab. Only real difference. Ooh. Yep, so I that's locked. I guarantee the 333G's unlocked. And there's a 325, so. Yeah, I got the whole model range right here on tracks. Kind of, sort of. Sorry, not really. I, mean, I don't freaking know. There's a BX series. At my job, I run a Kubota B3030. I'd rather run a 4066R or something like that, or 5320. But no. It's not. Oh, what is this? 317. It's a new machine. It's a new machine, too. That's a little icing. Alright, here I shoot ice on that thing. Oh. Same suit by John Deere. 317 speed one. 0.8 hours on this thing. This thing is new. It's got a foot throttle on it. I didn't get a thing. Yeah, it's got pilot controls. That's something I can run all freaking day and night. Plowing, snow, parking lots, whatnot, you name it. Not the biggest machine in the line. Yeah, that's what I thought you see. Oh, it's right there. You can't see it on camera, but it's right there. God, that didn't feel good at all. Sucks about doing this stuff at winter. Oh well, that's what I get for snooping around somewhere I'm not supposed to. What the hell? I won't quite how the hell they get some shoes out of here. I just gotta know. Let's take a ramp that goes up and over. I mean, crap. No way I can see doing it. The 1023E. Hmm. I actually might have a key for that. I do have a key for that. It's at my house. You can go to Home Depot buy these universal keys. They fit in all these machines. Well, not all of them. Not the bigger average. Not the big average. Oh. Yeah. So for instance, this. Oh, the heck? You tilt this stupid thing up. Right there. <laughs> this would be nice to have in full enclosure. I don't even try. I'd mow with this. I mean, who wouldn't? Got a nice air suspended seat on it. This is more for golf course. I, I'd love to run this. Here's a new. There's these Michelin tires. Those are interesting. If I do say so myself. These are all E's, I think. 23. Uh, yeah, they're all the same, except this is R. There's a 4066R open station. See if I get a 4066R, I have a cab on it. Let's get a. There, fix that for him. Side lights on it. And that's 4066R. And this is a 3025E. Another 4066. This looks interesting. Ten twenty-five years. Seriously. Really. Good bar is stupid sometimes. Oh. Seats a little <laughs> far forward for me. Considering I'm more like. Yeah, I could spend a little while and I don't know how long I could be before I go insane. Yeah, how much on it does. So I would be a lot easier. Three point. Throttle. Oh. Hmm. 
okay, your brakes. This is what you really need. Like the brake over here. It's like a bone. You pull their head out of their ass. Have your split brakes over here and have your hydrostat over here. They need to adopt that hydrostat. It's just the dumbest thing to trail pedal. Feet get tired after a couple hours. There you go. There's a seat. I mean, is that the one that's got the broken uh, door on it still? So, that's still here. Cause it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny if it is. It, no, I fixed it, I think. Half ass. <laughs> it's like the same thing that uh, Kister family's got, but. Put a couple hours on it, good lord. What the f. High right here. I got low right there. That head. There's your parking brake. There's your rear diff. Yeah, that's what that is. Important to prevent damage stop before shifting. That's just common knowledge. You got your emergency stuff brakes. I have a key for this too. There's your four wheel drive. Headlights. Phone charger outlet. And not bad machine. What is it? 850V. It's an 825i, which I think it's what more of the Kister family's got. I saw a Hunter had this, I know they did too. I have this key, my grandfather has it. Same key in his lawnmower. Alright, I suppose it's good if I get in trouble. I guess it's a uh, walk up the truck and see all you guys off and sign off. There's a, what is this? Big machine. Big guy. 333. Maybe she is. No. Well, what the heck? Ugh. Warehouse machine. Ugh. There's those guys with pilot controls on it. Take care of One of these buttons is a freaking horn. And that's your throttle position. Yeah, so that's your boom right here, and that's your steering. It's got a camera system on it. Radio's up here. A bad machine. Holy crap! This is a lot nicer than the 317 G. Oh yeah, because there's a bigger machine. Uh huh. The 320 G. That was a nice machine. Let's check all that out. It's covered with emissions. I want to sign off because I have people after me and I might have to go into work. What the? Mm. <laughs> this is interesting. A homemade tab. The heck? This has got to be loud in there. I can hear my voice echoing. <laughs> the heck? Doesn't even stay latched. What a chintzy little thing. Interesting. Real quick, there's a 7600. That's what Travis's tractor used to look like from the rest of the story. Guy, why are you driving thing with just dead ass cold there's those nuking tires if you can catch them I want to catch this guy in the working sounds like his he just came off the Minneapolis St. Paul airport on Travis Kister 7600 that's where this one came from as well and still doing the same job Wow. Just kind of waiting for that thing to come out.